Hi guys, welcome back to Alternative Invert yet again. Uh, so today we've been to the Midlands Entomological Show um, and I was going to be sensible, I wasn't gonna, really going to get anything um, as usual that goes out the window when you go to the show. Uh, so we'll show you a little bit of footage from what we got at the show and we will also show you what we've picked up. Um, again, some stunning pickups. So let's check it out and have a quick look at the show. Right, so we're here. We are at the Midland Entomological Show in Newark. Newark. So we're going to have a walk around, see where we're going, have a fag. Okay, so let's just have a look at this bag that we've got from this bar shop. Uh, we've got a mystery box here, 100 pound mystery box from Creature from the North. Alright, so this was given to me by Rad. Um, let's have a look, what else we got? We've got this from the spider shop. This from the spider shop. I didn't get those from the spider shop, but we didn't get those. Sorry, everything's just mixed up in different bags at the moment. From the spider shop, we picked up, first of all, the uh, Kirikan Earth Tiger. So that's the Killabrachia species Kirikan. There you go, and that is a beaut. And we also picked up a uh, Selenocosmia dichromata, um, which is no longer a Selenocosmia. So, um, just speaking with Gar afterwards uh, from Predator or Prey Online, uh, and guys actually said that they're no longer Selenocosmia. Um, they are uh, Orphanaeacus. I probably pronounced that completely wrong, um, so ignore me. Um, but yeah, it's the Orphanaeacus dichromatus instead of dichromata. I probably pronounced that wrong as well, but yeah. It's apparently the New Guinea Black Fury. Um, and I'm not going to um, take the lid off this one to show you because the evil suds. Yeah. If you can see that on the uh, the contrast from the carapace to the, the abdomen and the rest of the body, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, so it's got like a sort of brownie orange uh, carapace and the rest of it's like a nice, a nice sort of like velvet black. Um, it's beautiful. Got some red runners. Only the only pot I could find there was 20, 
25 of them in there, that's it. Dad them in as a sort of new bloodline into my, my colony that I've got. Um, we then went to Mark's tea room um, and Rachel has picked up um, a Apocrypharia subfusca lowland, which you can't see um, because it's buried itself underneath the cork bark um, in the substrate, but it has recently molted as well, so there is a little molt. Uh, so it's not massive. Uh, so yeah, that was uh, from Mark's tea room. Then on to the next bag. Uh, so yeah, so we went back to Spider Shop and just got um, three packs of Dubias. So we've just got three of those. Again, got some male and female in there. And we're just going to start a uh, little Dubia colony. Uh, we bought a um, Omothymus Violiceps uh, from the Spider Shop as well. That was £50. That's a decent size. Got this right for Christmas anyway, but well, towards the Christmas presents. Um, she wanted a Caribbean versicolor. Um, we've got a few slings and stuff, but um, she wanted an adult, so I've got her this adult female Caribbean versicolor. But there she is. Little beaut. Uh, then. So we, well, Rach picked up some of these emerald cockroaches. Uh, so we got, I think it was five. Yeah. Uh, tiny little colony of five emerald cockroaches there. Let's have a look. Is that floating yet? They are pretty cool. Look. Look really nice. So Raj picked those up as well. And they were I think £35. Uh, and we got them from Loaches Roaches. So make sure if you've got any Facebook or anything that you go check those guys out. And they do give you a little care sheet as well. Um, just explaining the housing, the substrate, humidity, temps, feeding, breeding, life cycle, etc. Um, and he did say if you have any other questions that is an answer down here, drop him a message and he'll be happy to help. We have got Rach another uh, Mantis from Mantis Den. And you can check them out on Facebook, Instagram, by email, and they've got their own website, mantisden.co.uk. And the mantis that we got was Dollar Mantis Diabolica, the giant devil's flower mantis. You can see it has some like a violet sort of purple colours on it. This looks cool and will get pretty big as well, so that's pretty cool to have. Yeah, so this was given to me by Rad from Creature from North. 
Uh, got a Cruise from the North Band card. And we've got a uh, another Biru. There's a uh, Selena Cosmia, um, Selena Cosmina species Biru. Obviously, it has changed the name as to Birupisimo Roxigorum or something like that. But uh, so Rad usually sells these guys at two hundred and twenty pound. And we do also have another one as well that we've got from um, uh, blah, 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 blah. Spot Shop. So yeah, so there we go. So we've got two Birus again. That's cool. And also, um, Roach had a go on the raffle, um, which five pound, I think it was a go for a raffle or something like that, or a couple of quid. Uh, and she won a Lassiodora Paria Banner Sling, uh, which is usually at six quid. And you can just see it there in the front here. And we don't actually have a Lacedora Pario banner. I've never really been that, that interested in them, to be honest. Um, but yeah, we've got one now, and it's a sling, so can't wait to see that to grow. But then the one I picked person, personally myself um, was the Flamingo Charles species Penelhuleti, and that's a young juvenile. Was it earlier? It is a, oh, it's down there in its in its burrow. You can just see the legs. So it's fairly small at the moment. Um, not sling sized, but yeah. So that's another great one. I've been after these for a while. I was after them from the last couple of shows. Couldn't find them anywhere. Uh, went to the show today. Cridge from the north was there, like I say, and. Rad had one, so I took it where I could. And I think, oh, hang on, and we've got some uh, moss chucked in as well, so he's just given me a bag of moss as well, um, just to mix in with the substrate for the panel he left it. Uh, also, yesterday we uh, did a sort of bulk purchase from somebody that we know. Um, who had a lot of tarantulas and was getting rid of some of their collection. So for £60 we picked up all of these, which I'll show you now. We picked up all of these with the enclosures, literally everything you see we picked up for £60, uh, which is really, really good. We've got the Avic Avic up here. We've got um, Brachypelma Vagans, which is the Talilta Cattle Vagans. Um, the Sazamai. Grammar style of pork rips, pork rips, pork rips, pork peas, whatever you want to say it. Brachypelma alba pelosum, curly hair, uh, which is called blossom, I like that. Alba pelosum, blossom. Uh, and also a, um, oh, I'm never going to say that, a violet tree spider. We picked up a female, um, young adult female. Poclotherium metallica, um, which is good because I think mine might be a male. Um, I just want to check its malt again next time it malts. Um, and also we got the Aphonopelma samani. Uh, so yeah, really. Oh, oh and we got the male um, green bottle blue. I think it's one malt from maturity, which will be fantastic to pair with our female. Uh, Brachypelma Kallenbergi, uh, which is also a adult. We got a, there was another green bottle blue as well. Another green bottle blue in here. Um, and that's a juvenile. And um, we've got a Brachypelma Hamori, a Aphanopelma Calcodes, and a Brachypelma Albiceps. So yeah, for 60 quid, 60 quid for all of those can't really grumble with the enclosures as well 
couple of them are spider shop enclosures or uh, enclosures from Fat Bob's, I think it might be, who does them very similar. Um, yeah, brilliant. 60 quid, I'll take them, no problem. Uh, so we've got those as well. And now I've got a load of rehousing to do. I need to rehouse all of those ones that I've just showed you. I need to rehouse all of our new pickups, apart from maybe one or two that can stay in the enclosures that they're in for now. But yeah. But yeah, so I'm not, not, you know, I'm happy with everything I've got. We've got another, another Kilobrachius, uh, the What Was Cellar Cosme, Selena Cosme di Cromata, Janela di Cromatus, uh, Flamingo Charles Penel Huletti, um, five of the um, emerald cockroaches, adult female Caribbean Versicolor, uh, Red Runners, normal Dubia roaches, Poclotharius of Fusca, uh, uh, mantis, which I forgot what it was again, but it was a giant something devil's mantis. Giant devil's mantis, I think it was. Rachel know more about that one than me. Uh, another biru. Um, Lacedoria pariabana. And also a um, Amathymus viola seps as well. So yeah, so it's been a good, good day. Uh, picked up some nice tarantulas. Um, I will be reusing these. Um, the reusing video will come out at some point, but I'm going to schedule it a little bit down the line, um, just because obviously we've only just had a, a rehousing already since the last show. That's it. I will take some pictures of these guys, and I'll be sharing some pictures of them up close in the groups. Uh, so if you're members of Invert Pet UK, um, then you'll see some of the pictures of some of these in that group. If not, go join the group and then you'll see them. I'll be sharing them from the Alternative Inverts Facebook page and Instagram as well. I've been a bit sloppy with Instagram, but um, yeah, I'll try and get something put up. And yeah, it's been a good day. If you like the video, you like the pickups, um, give us a like, drop a comment below. Um, if not, tell us why. Make sure you hit subscribe, come back for the next video uh, where we've got something a little bit different and we will see you again soon guys thank you very much and goodbye